<laughs> What's going on everyone? Welcome back to our Seattle Kraken franchise mode and boys No, Joe, we went 7 and 0 in simulation Simulating through the preseason. It was unreal. Our offense was going was just popping off Throughout all of it. All right 2-1 win over the Ducks 5-0 win to the Oilers 5-2 win then another five goals and another five goals and then six goals and then five goals Our offense was just popping off during the preseason I think it's because we're going up against more like AHL style competition in the preseason but I could be wrong there. Um, but I did come to a conclusion for a goal tent for which goaltender uh, we want to keep. And the decision I have made is going or has been Vinny Vevelainen. All right, in his three games, he had three wins, one shutout, and a .958 save percentage. All right, that is an unreal save percentage. Dallas Mickelson did not reach it, though he did have a really good save percentage. Vivalainen outperformed his competition. So what did we do in retaliation of that? Well, I decided to ship him off, all right? I traded him away. Um, over to, where did I trade him for? He's right over there, to Chicago. There it is. We trade away um, Dallas Mickelson a, and two sevenths in this upcoming draft for left winger Jesper Carlson and left winger Kirill Nikitin, both of which are grinders. So we just traded the, uh, Mickelson away for two future grinders um, to come up and try to replace our fourth line and third line. Um, and then we made another trade um, with the Tampa Bay Lightning. We trade away left winger Jacob Peralt. All right, he was a he was a two way forward. Yeah, he has a high overall for the AHL and playing potential, but we were not going to use him, and we traded him for our defensive enforcer's brother, Maximus Reeves. All right, as well as right winger Rainer Schwar. All right, so just just so you guys can get a better picture of this, all right, th this is the f this is literally going to be fantastic for when for like these upcoming seasons. All right, so let's go to unsigned players, left defenseman. So we'll go to defenseman. We now have both Reeves brothers. Not only that, one has low elite potential. All right, which is this guy. Declan Reeves, our Reeves, the guy we drafted in the second round enforcer, all right, big guy Reeves, could possibly be on our first line of the future, top two defenseman if we grow him right, and then we got his brother Maximus Reeves, one year younger, they declared in the same draft, he was drafted fifth. In the fifth round, so three rounds later than his brother by the Tampa Bay Lightning. And we don't know as much about him as we do about Reeves. But this guy should could be something. He's going to be on our bottom six. So we'll have a Reeves on the top two and then a Reeves on the bottom. So just boom, boom, two enforces beating the absolute crap out of our opponent's I wonder if they're related to Ryan Reeves. Ooh, we got the next two Reeves of the Reeves family coming in. I don't know. I don't know. But when when we get a chance to take a look at them, I hope I really want them to develop into NHL caliber players. And I think that we can definitely develop them, especially being them in the 60s. We should definitely be able to do it. Um, but for lines anyways, for the NHL, the line combinations that we are going to be going with are as Followed. We're going to be doing Tim Stutzel on the left wing with Tomas Hurdle and then Mike Hewitt on the first line. So Hewitt and Stutzel finally getting that first line playing time. Uh, they've oh, slowly been getting more and more play time. First year, fourth line, second year, third with a mix of second and first. And now they're officially on our first line. Uh, second line is going to be Oliver Bjorkstrand on the left wing with Alexander Kerfoot and Jake Vertanen. And then third line is going to be Tom Wilson, Alex Galchenyuk, and Blake Coleman. Fourth line is our grind line, Michael Furlan with Jujahar Kaharia and then Garnet Hathaway. 
Defensively, we have Miguel Sergachev with Tori Krug, Jet Wu with Jake Bean, Noah Hulson with Jonas Brodin, and then in between the pipes, we got Michael DiPietro, one overall better. All right, he's in his final year to really get a, a big boost, and I, I really hope we can get it to him. I think if we can win him a cup, we might see him get a boost up and possibly jump him up to elite potential if he does good enough. I really hope we can. I'm hoping that we can at least get him up to an 88. If we can secure that 88 overall with Michael DiPietro, then we could sign him long term. And he, he very well could be Seattle's greatest goaltender for for uh, a short time being anyways. Or at least until he decides to hang up the skates. Uh, but those are going to be our lines there for the AHL defense. It's going to be Sergei Nesterov with Angelo Boy. Bennett Boys with Nick, uh, Nikita Okiak, and then Pat Hayward with Vili Hinola. Offensively, it's going to be Jan Mysik with Skylar Cruz and Yuri Antropov. Second in line is going to be Cal uh, Caleb Woods with Philip Kurashev and Kyle Kronko uh, Krinkovic. Uh, third line is going to be Nikolai Novoseltsev. Uh, with Jeffrey Zeller and then Jackson Bowmeister. Fourth line is going to be Rainer Schauer with Dominic Bach and Spike Antonio. So our AHL is without a doubt going to be possible champions. All right, And then Olaf Lindbaum is going to be our backup goaltender with Joel Blumquist. We also signed for depth. Why well, you guys don't know. We signed Cedric Paquette, Jake Dotchin, and Zach uh, Zach McCoo. So two former Lightning players uh, are on our team now. All right. All right. But let's get on into game number one of our season. Simulant on the, uh, past the preseason. We all know preseason doesn't matter. Even though we went 17-0, it is behind us. Looking at the draft board. Oh, wait. I don't want to assign scouts. No, 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 no. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Some extensions being offered. Don't worry about it. I'll show you guys in the. Uh, I'll show you guys soon. Uh, but the first game up against the Nashville Predators. Simulate up on up. All right. So first game against Nashville. Come on, it's power play. Seattle score, 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 score. Power play. Fuck. Didn't score there. All right. But you know who does? Pavel Bushnevitz, who we passed up on. Uh, we went with Bjorkstan instead, and Pavel Bushnevitz. It's only typical that he would score the first goal of the season on us. Of course, he signs with freaking Nashville, too. Unbelievable. Uh, but after one, Nashville leads in shots 11 to 9 as well on the. Us on the scoreboard, one nothing thanks to a goal by Pavel Bushnevitz. Second period, let's go Seattle comeback. There it is, Mike Hewitt, power play goal. That guy I think could get 50 goals in a season, especially on this first line. I could see it. Blake Coleman gets a goal on that third line. There you go, Alex Galchenyuk passing it out. Jake Vertanen on the second line. Oh, but Roche. Roche answers back for Nashville, getting him back within one. So we had a nice little pop of offense there. I enjoyed that. I didn't enjoy seeing Roche scoring on Di Pietro, but I guess, you know, if we get a little pop, they might as well get one, uh, at least one goal, too. And now we are up one. Uh, we are up three to two, so by one goal. Shots are 23-17 in our favor. Some weird angled goals going in on Matt Murray, so I'm not sure if we're just lucky or uh, what is happening here. But yeah, some weird angle goals for Matt Murray. Now for the third and hopefully final period, we can walk out of here with a W. Let's go, boys. Come on. Finish it up off walk away with a dub put one more puck in the net no max patcher ready puts it in michael di pietro no tied game come on boys bounce back somebody score no roman yossi now scores for nashville seattle somebody no one and nashville predators have a comeback victory in the third period and walk away with the W. Fuck. 
three stars of the game. Yup, Roman Yossi, first star, one goal, one assist. Second star, Max Pacioretty, one goal, one assist. And then third star, Pavel Buchnevitz, one goal, one assist. And just like the start of last season, we started off 0 and 1. Fuck, we had a had a comeback loss. Jesus Christ. Uh, Jonas Brodeen, fractured elbow, out until November 9th. Ah, that is not a great injury. Let's throw in Jake Dotchin in there. All right, hopefully that he can do some wonders. Substitute him in the lineup. Great. So we still get that plus three. Uh, if we would throw him down there, we'd get him plus one. But no, Jake Dotchin, stay down there with Yulson on that fourth line. Don't get too much ice time. All right, and now we get into the regular simulation. Hopefully we see a few more wins here. Up to the first, up against the New York Islanders. I'll walk away with a dub. Five to two win. There we go. So in simulation, we've been getting five goals. Bennett, boys, gets hurt until October 26th. Just replace him. Arizona Coyotes. Now Skyler Cruz hurt until October 23rd. Okay. Arizona Coyotes, 3-2 loss. On Enough with these losing shit. Oh, 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 Louis Stutzel, Tim Stutzel's brother. Even though I know it's not really Tim Stutzel's brother, but like, look at that right winger from Germany with the same last name. He plays right wing, possible sniper. Oh, we have to go after Stutzel's brother, too. Or what we're going to claim to be his bro his illegitimate brother, whatever you want to do. We'll figure out something f for him, but he'll be related to Stutzel. They'll be the Stutzels. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. The brothers are coming together. Enforcer on the back end. Stutzel's on the front end. Jake Dodge in hurt, but is fully healed. That's good. 3-2 shootout win over the Chicago Blackhawks. Now up against Anaheim and Oliver Bjorkstrand. Post-concussion syndrome. He is going to be out until January 3rd. Oh, that's a long injury. And we traded for him this season. Damn, that's going to hurt us. Big time. All right, who can we put there? Uh, scratch players. I could put Zach Martin, Paquette. Uh, let's put Zach Martin in to start off, and then we'll try to... Yeah, over Alex Galchenyuk. We'll move Alex Galchenyuk up to the first line. Put Zach Martin there. Alright, that doesn't do anything. So maybe let's do. Okay, let's move Furland up then. We'll move Coleman back over to center. And then move Zach Martin to center. Kahario on the left wing. Yeah, that's what we'll have to do. That's what we're going to have to do. And. Put Martin in here, or uh, McEwen in there. So McEwen, you're getting a pretty big role on this team. Hope you're ready to step up. Multiple Florida hit players are eligible to be dressed. All right, let's see who it is. All right, probably our first line center. Yep, and Cruz fully healed. Yep. Uh, and then everyone else is fine. All right. Anaheim Ducks walk away with a dub. 3-2 shootout win again. Good, good, good. I'd like some regulation wins, but, you know, a win is a win. Alexander Kerfoot now hurt with a mild concussion until November 4th. Holy fuck. All right. All righty. Put Sadrick Pocket in. Oh, my God. There you go, Furlan plus three now. So that's actually improving our team. They don't know it, but they're actually somehow improving our team. Can we get two plus fives? Because it's now nothing but grinders down here. So I feel like we can get... Oh, yes! McEwen on the third line, Pocket on the fourth line. All of them playing like a plus five. Oh, they don't know the monster that we're creating. Can we get a plus three up here? 
plus five and a plus three. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, 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 okay. Um, what if Galchenyuk's up there? Then can we get any combination with them? No. No, can't do it. All right, all right, all right. That's fine. That's fine. That is perfectly fine. This is going to be a great. Oh, these injuries might have gotten us to just realize just to do this. Oh, they're all playing at a plus five. This is they they create a monster on our forward group. St. Louis Blues five to one victory. Alexander Kermfer, I want to speak to you about my ice time concerns, dude. You're hurt. Right now, I don't feel, dude. Dude, you're hurt. You're hurt. Team player, motherfucker. Alright, I'm glad you're on the same page. You understand you are hurt. You cannot complain about ice time when you are hurt. Bennett Boys is fully healed. Alright, he is a defenseman, I believe. I believe Boys is a defenseman over ball. I think, oh, I think he plays over ball, yeah. Two-way defenseman, flip him on in. There it is. Perfect. Against the Detroit Lead Wings. Oh, my God. Now Jed Wu is hurt. Oh, we're just going to go through the injury bug, aren't we? Oh, I mean, these could be, like... I mean, our team is actually somehow getting better in chemistry-wise. But now we got to call up a defenseman. Um, Yeah, let's call up boys. A hey, boys. All right, we'll edit the lines. Angelo's boys is getting called up to the Seattle Krakens just for a short little, short little stint while we try to recover. So Angelo's boys, defensive defenseman, is a plus three. Mm, plus five if we move Dotchin up, then plus one. We'll do plus three, plus three. That's fine. Jake Bean. With Angela boys, and then in the AHL squad, just replace him with, yeah, you. Sure. There we go. There you go. Detroit Red Wings, 3-2 win. Up against the New York Rangers, 7-0 win. Columbus Blue Jackets, Jan Mysik is fully healed. All right, put him back into that first line left wing slot. Right in there, perfect. All right, Columbus Blue Jackets, keep it up, boys. Four to one loss. Oh, our team was playing so well. Six to three. All right, six and three record. I mean, that's an okay record. We're first place in our division, at least. I was hoping that we'd be running away with it a little bit more. We're three points behind the best record in the division. Or in the entire NHL. And that's what I want this year. I want the best record in all in the entire NHL. I want to win the President's Trophy this year. Looking at points after one. Jake for Tannen leading our team. Nine points. Five goals. Four assists. So Jake for Tannen liking that second line role, I guess. He's doing really well there. Jake being second plate with eight points in nine game. Tim Stutzel. Seven points in nine games. All right, all right. Hewitt, six and nine. So we are putting up points. Oliver Bjorkstrand, four and five when he was healthy. I was goaltending. All right, Fevelinen doing what he's supposed to. He's one win. Three losses are from Michael DiPietro, but he's still got a great save percentage, so we won't blame him. We're just going to have to keep on simulating. Not enough time has passed to really see how our team's actually doing. I think, I think we're going to be first place in our division. We should just walk away with our division this year. All right. Edmonton Oilers. 3-2 shootout loss. Fuck. Multiple Seattle Kraken players are eligible to be dressed. All right. Who's fully healed? Alexander Kerfoot. Fuck. Which one was Kerfoot. Um, Kerfoot. Fuck. I don't remember which one. Was it McEwen or Paquette? Who was Kerfoot? I think it was, it was, it was, yeah, 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 yeah. It was Paquette. Paquette was for Kerfoot, right? 
substitute him in, send you down, and then move you down there. Or does it like... No, no, no. Coleman was there. All right. All right. Yep. I'll do that. And which one of you guys are better at face-offs? Kerfoot is. So Kerfoot, you'll stay there on that second line. There you go. Colorado Avalanche now. Four, five, four overtime loss. Why are we losing in overtime? Nikita Alexandrov, who are you? Why are you being put on waivers? Medium top nine playmaker. No, thank you. Decline. Montreal Canadiens, 4-2 loss. Now Jonas Brodeen's back. So maybe it's because Angelo's voice was called up. That could be it. All right, so... What's it for Wu? Uh, all right, so put voice in here. Not for Jet Wu. For Jonas Brodeen. There you go. And then we'll put Brodeen down here, Dotchin up in there. Okay. Yeah, and then we'll just let Boyce kind of sit just in case an injury arises again. Jet Wu is fully healed. All right, so we can we can send down Boyce. All right, so Boyce can get sent back down to the AHL squad. Put Jet Wu there. Perfect. All right, then go to roster moves. And let's send him right on down. Thank you for your service, my good sir. Angelo Boyce, you can go back down and serve your AHL country proud. Okay, and... Swap you guys. And Angelo Boyce goes in there. Perfect. Perfect. So maybe, hopefully this will fix up our roster a little bit. Boston Bruins, 5-2 win. There we go. Back to that five goals a game. 3-2 overtime loss. Pittsburgh Penguins fire their head coach, Raphael Gaganon. All right. So that's the second head coach we've seen fire in two years. Tampa Bay Lightning, another overtime loss. What the fuck is happening? Vancouver Canucks, another overtime loss. What the fuck is happening? Why what's up with these overtime losses? Alright. Buffalo Sabres, three to, three to one loss. Oh my god. Florida Panthers, three to win. Pittsburgh Penguins, four nothing win. Good, good, good. They fired their head coach though, so. Vegas, 2-1 win, then a 6-5 shootout loss. Oh my god, the shootout losses. Joel Blumquist is hurt until January 8th. Alexander Kerfoot, I'm sorry for how I'm playing out there. Dude, it's... Persuade, man, just convince. Dude, You got it's in your abilities. You just got to get some confidence. You got to feel confident. I'm glad we're on the same page, Kerfoot. You just got to feel some confidence. All right, no morale change, though. All right, Toronto. Beat Toronto. 4-3 shootout win. That's our first shootout win, I think, of the entire season. 4-3 win to the Capitals. Miguel Sergachev is fully healed. Okay, I didn't know that he was hurt. Now last game against the Dallas Stars. 6-5 shootout win. So we start to flip it around at the end. Get some more shootout wins. But holy shit. Shootout loss, shootout loss, shootout loss, overtime loss, overtime loss. Oh, that was an overtime loss, not a shootout loss. What happened? I mean, at least we're getting points, but like, what happened there? We just, we just missed out from being like second place in the league at least, possibly close with the Flyers. We're going for a president's trophy here, and you guys are pulling stuff like that? What the fuck? Tim Stutzel, though, leading our team in points. Stutzel, is this his breakout season? Is this going to be Stutzel's breakout season? Because we were talking about it, looking at his points. Look at what he did in the AHL, all right? First year, he was on the fourth line, didn't play that great, 17 points. All right. 
Then you get a little bit of a game improvement, just a little bit of improvement, one point in his second year with, him, with a little bit more ice time. Then he got that first time ice time in the AHL. He popped off. Then he gets in the a and then he gets the NHL. Puts up 29 points in his rookie season on that fourth line. Then he starts getting moved around from the third line primarily with substitution and seeing glimpses of the first and second line. And now he is on the first line. Guaranteed in this man. 23 points in 24 games. Possibility of being above a point per game player by the end of this season. Mike Hewitt popping off. 12 goals already in this season. Hopefully we can get him to 50. Mike Hewitt possibly getting a 50 goal season. Uh, Tomas Hurdle slacking off a little bit in points. But I think he can kind of deserve... He deserves a little bit of a break. He's been carrying this team for a long, long time. Jake being 20. All right. Looking over at the goalie stats. What happened there? What happened on that stint? All right. So Veva Linen went 2-0-2. 2, .899 save percentage. That's not good, Vevi. That's not good. And then Michael Pietro actually 11-5-4. Two shutouts and a .925 save percentage. That's that's respectable. Michael Pietro, th those are good goalie stats. So we're not going to blame him. We're just going to say our offense didn't show up. We, we, we slacked off. It must be like shorthand goals or something. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's advance it on up another month. This will pretty much solidify where we should be in these standings and what we can go for. Uh, Skyler Cruz hurt until December 9th. Just replace him. Uh, Jet Wu fully healed. That's good. All right. San Jose Sharks. 4 nothing win. Nice. Nice. All right. Place the player. Come on. Just keep going. Just keep going. Uh, take a look at the draft class. Sure. 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 We'll take a look at the draft class. So first overall pick again, just a medium elite, no franchise. This guy's supposed to be like PK Subban, cycle pinch. Really? Oh yeah. It pretty much A's across. Oh wow. This guy's going to be really good. Probably low, high seventies, low eighties, probably in, in overall. Yeah, he's going to be really good. Any franchise, possible franchise players? No, but Stutzel still is looking really nice. A's across the board. This guy, I think, is going to be the real deal. Yeah, I would love NHL ready. I would love to try to try to get my hands on Stutzel there. Any gems? No gems. All right. Man, if we could get Stutzel too. <sighs> Our team, our team would be a complete revamp. Complete revamp. Uh, so Skyler, what was he? Was he the center? Yeah. Skyler Cruz, center. Replace him over Kevin Ball. Cruz, the power forward. There we go. Perfect. Carolina Hurricanes, 3-2 shootout loss again. Jackson Moby, sir. Our HL team is getting picked apart with injuries. Winnipeg Jets, 4-1 win. All right, so we're we're still playing good. Jackson Bowie served edit lines. He's our fourth line, right? No, is he third line? Bowmeister? Yeah, I think he was third line. Mm, no, he was not. No, he was not. Put ball back there. All right, put ball there. What? Okay, so. Right winger Antropov was first line right winger. Okay, so I did put him in the right spot. Okay, so I did put him in the right spot. Okay, so he is supposed to be here. So, scratched, Bowmeister, put him on in. There we go. So, Bowmeister is supposed to be on the third line. Calgary Flames, 3-2 win. Nice job. Just going to decline the trade. Don't care. Philadelphia, get another dub. There it is, 4-3. New Jersey Devils, 3-2 win. Now up against the Minnesota Wild. Get another one. Do it. 5-2 loss. Oh, every time we start getting our hopes up for a really long winning streak, we always just uh, come back down to reality. Damn, that sucks. That sucks. All right. All right, Billy. Just going to scratch you back off for him. Yep. He's got one more year. He's going to come into the league at 20 years of age. That's fine. That's fine. All right, back up against the Nashville Predators. We got to win this one. And Tomas Hurdle gets an injured knee. 
until December 24th. Edit lines manually. All right. Well, we lost Bjorkstrand. So it's going to have to be Paquette. So put Paquette there. Uh, man, he's going to get some really big ice time moments now. Uh, and then remove up Coleman. All right, then swap you two. Let's see if we can get a plus three. We can get a plus three and a plus three. So move Vertanen or Galchenyuk up. Let's move Galchenyuk up. Yeah, we'll move Galchenyuk up. Give him that first line ice time again. Which one of those guys are better at face-offs? All right. Stutzel's a better face-off guy, so he's going to be taking the face-offs. Coleman, first line, left winger, right? Not as great as face-offs. No. No. So Coleman, second line, left winger. All right. So then put Pocket on the three-on-three -three line again. Center. Cedric Pocket. There we go. So he's only going to be gone for a couple games. 4-3 loss to Nashville. New York Islanders, 5-2 win. That's what I like to see. I like to see some dubs. Arizona Coyotes, Tomas Hurdle fully healed. All right, so he's coming back early. So our, all right, so we got some good medical staff. We got good medical staff. That's what I'm seeing here. All right, then swap Coleman with you. Boom, boom. Cedric Paquette. Stretch off for Tomas Hurtle. Perfect. All right. Arizona, 3-2 dub. Chicago Blackhawks, 4-3 shootout loss. Fuck, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, please. We need more dubs. I don't like these losses. Even though we're still getting points because they're shootout losses, I don't like it. Oliver Borkstrand now back. All right. So that's going to take out McQuinn. Zach McQuinn. How did he do replacing him? Actually really well. Wow. Plus 5. 10 points in 30 games played. Huh. So for NHL points, he has the most points in his entire career, but also the most playing time. Alright, so send you there, you there. Swap Furlan with Kaharia. And McEwen with Galchenyuk. And McEwen will be out for Oliver Bjorkstrand. There we are. Welcome back to that second line, buddy. We missed you. Up against the Anaheim Ducks now. 4-1 to one loss. So Bjorkstrand comes back and we lose immediately. And the Canucks take the lead. Oh, for our division. Fuck. All right, so they're at 50 points, 51, 51, 50. All right, all right. So we're we're two games behind the President's Trophy. All right, we're going for it. Mike Hewitt, 20 goals in 36 games. This guy can get to 50 goals, I believe. I believe that Mike Hewitt can get to 50 goals with first line time and power play time that we're giving him. Without a doubt, Tim Stutzel, 32 points in 36 games. Vertanen's popping off for a little bit. Jake Bean's still popping. Hurdle's getting up there, but damn. Krug and Sergeyev, minus players. We gotta get, come on. We just gotta get it. We gotta get in a groove. All right, hit it in cruise control. I know we're on an away streak, but just put it behind you. How many games away? One, two... Wow, we actually started before. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six games away from home this month in January. Wow, we're not even home for New Year's. That sucks. 5-3 loss to St. Louis Blues. And Michael DiPietro sprained his finger. He's going to be gone for just about, the, about half the month of January. Oh, boy. All right, Vinny. You're going to get a chance to shine. And we're going to call up Lindbaum. All right, we're going to call him up. All right, because if he's going to have a story career come back at his age, he's going to have to get some NHL playing time now, and he's going to have to play well 
in the time that we give him. Olaf, then there's Brain. Just put Blumquist in there. There you go. Detroit Red Wings, 4-1 loss. New York Rangers, 4-3 shootout loss. Joel Blumquist, fully heal, continue. Uh oh, come on, get back to your winning ways. Columbus Blue Jackets, 5 0 loss. Edmonton Oilers, come on, we gotta get back to winning. Juja Harkaharia hurt until January 16th, just replace him. Come on, get the win. 3 0 win against the Oilers. Alright, that's what we need. And then Garnet, oh, fuck. Alright, Garnet now gets hurt. So we got Paquette down there, which is good. Swap Furland over there. And then put Zach McEwen there. Oh, he can play right wing. Okay, so put McEwen on the right. What else do we do? Mm -mm. Okay. No. Okay. All right, so that's what we're going to have to do. McEwen on the right, Paquette, Furlan. All right, that's our new fourth line. Roll with it. Colorado Avalanche, 4-2 to two loss, and now Jake Bean is hurt until February 22nd with a concussion. Oh, we've been getting plagued with these injuries, boys. It's really causing an up-and-down season. Oh, we just can't stay healthy. You can't stay healthy. Jake Dotchin, no, not going to get it. We got to switch you guys up. Yeah. Take Tori Krug off of the first line. We'll put Sergachev with Wu, Dachin with Krug. All right. That's how we'll, that's how we'll work it. That's how we'll, we'll try to fix this roster on up. And we got to put Jake Dachin here. All right. That's how we're going to have to try to fix this roster up. Uh, decline that trade. Montreal Canadiens, 3-2 win. All right, so new lines, and we walk away with a dub. Boston Bruins, multiple players eligible to be dressed. Who's healed? Gaharia and Gathaway. All right. So put Paquette away for Gaharia. And then Hathaway is going to go in there. Actually, you know what? Scratch Hathaway for McEwen. Scratch Hathaway for McEwen. Because McEwen's having a much better season. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. We're going to put McEwen on the right wing. All right, so Boston, 3-2 win against Boston. LA Kings, 3-2 loss. That's okay, though. Michael DiPietro's fully healed. So that means now we can send down our goaltender, Lindbaum. Did he get a game? Yes, he did. Not good, though. He did not perform well in his NHL appearances. That kind of sucks for you, kid. That really sucks. You're probably not going to get that boost. To get it to become that an NHL goaltender, send him down. Uh, he did clear waivers, which is good for us because I didn't even know that he needed to clear waivers until that time. Uh, Bryson Brain, scratch you for Lindblom. There we go. And continue. Tampa Bay Lightning, view the draft class. Yep. Central Scouting. So it's still medium elite. Good. Projected to go number five. Ben Flood, the new number one overall pick. 17-year-old left defenseman. Oh, no. This is the same guy. All right. So Ben Flood, still the same guy. Uh, gems. No gems. All right. Goaltenders. Any freaky goaltending action happening? No, no. No freaky goaltender action happening yet. All right, Tampa Bay Lightning, 5-4 shootout loss, and then overtime loss. So we are at 11 overtime losses, boys. Holy shit. We cannot win in overtime. And then we get a 4-2 loss to the Panthers. We're falling in the standings because of these overtime losses. Literally because of these overtime losses. 11. 
nobody in the league, probably like most of our, most of these teams in overtime probably are losing because of, or getting, win no, they'd be getting wins, they wouldn't even be showing it. Mike Hewitt, 30 goals in 49 games played, 51 points on the season for him. So at least somebody's uh, growing off of it. Oh, we're still a playoff team. We're just in a really bad situation. We're in a really bad way right now. All right, we need to get some regulation wins here. And personally, boys, personally, I think we might want to go away from Bjorkstrand. I, I don't know what it is, but for some reason, every time we've had Bjorkstrand in the lineup, our team just has not played the greatest. Um, I don't want to blame it on him. I don't feel like it, it is him, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we just need to let it simulate some more. I don't know. Maybe, maybe our team our team may be fine. I don't know. We'll find out the trade deadline. Hopefully, we're not like a tweener team because if we're a tweener team, I, I'm going to cry. I am literally going to cry if we're a tweener team. All right, up against the Pittsburgh Penguins at home. Tory Krug fully healed. That's good. I didn't even know that he was hurt. Pittsburgh Penguins, 3-1 loss. Oh, fuck. Here we go. Yuri Antropov fully healed. Put him on that right wing spot. On the first line. Yep. Over you. Come on, Vegas. Lose. Lose. 7-5 loss. Ottawa Senators, 5-4 loss. Oh, my God. Here we go. Toronto Maple Leafs. Six nothing loss now. <sighs> Jake for Tannen's hurt until February sixteenth. Oh nothing we're doing's working, boys. Nothing we can do here. Oh god damn. Alright, call Galchenyuk up. Uh Ooh, McEwen over there to the third line. Elchenyuk, Kerfoot, Bjorkstrand, come on. Washington Capitals, Piero, Oliver, Joseph, nope, decline. Washington Capitals walk away with dub. 4 nothing win, finally. We end that losing streak. Bennett boys, I believe a defenseman. All right, defenseman, Brian boys, I believe it goes here. Boom. Or Bennett boys. There we go. Dallas Stars. 6-4 loss. We can't keep the puck out of the net. San Jose Sharks. 6-5 shootout loss. Jake Vertanen is fully healed again. Oh my god. So many fucking overtime losses. Ridiculous. Jake Vertanen substitute you back into the lineup. Over there. Oh, come on. We turn it around the end of the month, please. Michael DiPietro out until fucking February 26th with a mild concussion now. All right. All righty. So, injury bug for days is happening. Yep. Yep. Just call up Lindblom. Here we go. <sighs> Here we go. We're running into injuries left and right. I guess it was bound to happen. We build a nasty team. And we're going to go down and lose because of a bunch of injuries. God damn it. Bryce and Brian. Come on. Decline. Carolina Hurricanes. 4-3 win. Nice job. There you go. Winnipeg Jets. Jake Bean fully healed. All right. That was probably some missing offense. That we needed. Take out Jake Dotchin for Jake Bean. Boom. Toy Krug over. Jake Bean down. Go put those guys back together. Winnipeg Jets. 5-3 dub. There you go. Calgary Flames now. Come on. Walk away with another dub. W. W. 6-5 overtime loss. But a 5-0 win, win over... Uh, the Philadelphia Flyers. All right, so goaltending starting to to solve it. Viva Linen playing some great hockey right now, and so is Lindbaum. 
Two wins in three games. Olaf Lindbaum playing good, solid hockey. Wow, only 19 wins. 19, 14, and 7. Jesus Christ, E. Pietro. We need to get this guy some wins. Send Lindbaum down. Yep. He's going to clear waivers, edit lines. And then put... Put a line in, in the who starts. Michael D. Pietro goes right there. And then over Bryson Bryan will go Lindbaum. There we go. All right. Michael D. Pietro is fully healed. Good. New Jersey Devils. Come on, get another W. One nothing win. There you go. Sergey Nesterov replace him. Minnesota Wild get another dub. Five to two loss. Okay. All right, so we at least got some wins at the end of the season. I mean, at the end, not at the end of the season, at the end of the month, like I asked for. So we do good at the end of the month. We suck at the beginning of the month for whatever the reason. 71 points. It's not going to do it. We, we literally could miss out on the playoffs still. We went from being a top team in the league to falling off a cliff. Oh, overtime, man. Overtime. We are we just suck. We suck in overtime. Uh, so looking around, Tim Stutzel and Mike Hewitt both are a point per game. 62 points a piece. Both of them having their big breakout game. And I'm hope uh, breakout season, really. Their big breakout season. Um, but I'm hoping that they can, you know. Get a big boost. Maybe Hewitt jumps up to elite. Stutzel jumps up to franchise, maybe. Who knows? That's really what I'm kind of hoping for. Uh, especially if they keep up this type of pace. I mean, if they can get above point per game, get up to 100 uh, points this season, oh, they, they for sure are going to get a big jump next one. But Stutzel started off, I think, at an 83. He's up to an 85 already. Tomas Hurdle, like I said, he's, he's kind of slacking off this season, but he can, dude. Let the guy take a little bit of a break. He's still a plus player. 51 points in 60 games. It's fine. It's not his point per game self, but, I mean, the guy's still doing what he's got, what he can do. He's got two young guns on his wing to kind of to allow him to no longer have to carry that first line. The second line for Tannen and them, not really working out that well. They're not putting up huge numbers, and they're not really that big of a plus either. Personally, I think it's Oliver Bjorkstrand um, that's doing it in for us. So I'm thinking we might want to move on for Bjorkstrand, just trade him away for draft picks. Maybe just trade him away for a draft pick or, or like a grinder or something. And then call up... And then we can just call up Galchenyuk or Coleman or someone. No, we, we couldn't do that. No, nope, someone would have to get hurt. Ooh, we would have to get rid of Vertanen. I don't want to get rid of Vertanen. I don't want to get rid of Kerfoot. Yeah. Bjorkstrand I kind of want to get rid of. But that second line... What if we do that? Oh. Would put Bjorkstrand on that first line, trying to switch things up. Bjorkstrand with Stutzel and Hewitt move Hurdle down to the second line alongside Kerfoot. And then Jake for Tannen on the right wing. I mean, they just flip flop how they would play. I kind of like that idea, though. Could call up Wilson. What if we call up Wilson? Uh, nah. No, that won't work. <sighs> okay, so we got some ideas. We could call up Bjorkstrand, move up Bjorkstrand to that first line uh, with Stutzel and Hewitt, send down Hurdle to that second line with Kerfoot and Vertanen. I mean, that wouldn't be that bad of an idea. Yeah, because that would get them up to a flat 88. Right now, Hurdle's a 90, but then they would jump up to an 88. Bjorkstrand jumps up to an 87 instead of an 85. 
Uh, do they like Bjorkstrand? Who does Bjorkstrand like playing with? Hurdle, Galchenyuk, Hathaway. No, it won't happen. Won't happen. I don't know. I don't know, man. Our team is very iffy. It's very iffy. We had that long stretch. Uh, okay. Okay, we can do it. It's going to come down to hard decision. I think we might... I personally am, am for getting rid of Bjorkstrand, so I think that's what we're going to wind up doing. Uh, but anyways, boys, hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment. If you didn't, I'm sorry. I'll get better in time, though, I'm sure. Uh, until next time, guys, see you later. Bye-bye.